the EMFA needs to be expanded to address the backdoor financing of media owners. One of the unwritten rules for assembling an inner circle of oligarchs to do the government's bidding is that those oligarchs enrich themselves in the process. State advertising obviously plays a role, but more commonly, the real profiteering takes place beyond the media sector through state contracts secured in other industries. Prior to the 2008 financial crisis, much of the media in Central and Eastern Europe was foreign owned, mostly German. This crisis led to the departure of those companies who were replaced by local businessmen, many of whom had made their fortunes in industries dependent on state contracts, such as construction, energy, agrochemicals, uh, finance, etc. They purchased media not for profit, but for influence. These businesses are guaranteed soaring profits for their companies in other industries on the condition that the media stay loyal to the party in power. It's a pattern that was established in Russia and repeated in Turkey, Hungary, Poland, Bulgaria, and the Czech Republic to varying degrees. And it provides the fuel that drives media capture. For the EMFA to really confront media capture, it needs to go far further. It must ensure transparency of all financial relations between the state and media. It must ensure the fair distribution of state advertising funds and media subsidies. And it must tackle the indirect state financing of media owners through sister companies in other industries. For example, would it really be so difficult to bar companies which own media over a certain size from participating in public tenders in industries outside of the media? At a stroke, it would cut off the financing of media capture and tip the balance back in favour of independent journalism.